Hello everyone, welcome to another, another Rust More video and today I'm talking about gear sets um, So I mean actually recorded this video like twice already but both times I was muted and something came up so Yeah, I'm doing this for a third time so if I sound a little boring it's because I already did it multiple times but I'll try my best So this video I'm gonna be covering mix sets or mix set correction And it'll be what you're looking for, what pieces you want to focus on and what jewels you want to put in there So let's get right into it so first off, in equipment, when you want to go, when you want to form a mix set, you want to look at gear pieces that gives you two stats, uh, two attack stats, like two troop attack stats is what you were looking for. So starting off in helmet, this is the first one in the list, right? Looking at beast helmet and bobby helmet. Now this is the prime example is what I mean in two troop attack stats, and you're looking right here at infantry attack and cavalry attack for beast helmet, and cavalry attack and range attack for bobby helmet. Now the reason I give you two options here is because one of them is a lot harder to get than the other one. As we all know, OV helmet, their uh, venoms or right, yeah, the queen venom is one of the rarest drops in the whole game. So, uh, the, between these two pieces, whenever they're in the same the same level, of the the bumblebee helmet is stronger. So you happen to have both of them at blue. The bumblebee helmet is stronger. It has. 14-14 with army HP of 9 while um, while the B summon has 14-11 and then army HP of 7 so it has more HP and it has extra stats so um, that, that also changes if you have B summon at a higher level B summon will be your go to go piece as you can see a 19-16 is better than a 14-14 so that would be a thing to look at so depending on grade level depending on which one you will choose but Bombi Helmet, if you have it maxed out, that would be the one to go for. Uh, next up for chest piece. For chest piece, I pretty much only recommend Thigh Wall Plate. This one has both infantry and cav attack. Each attack doesn't really matter, but then we have army HP. And in comparison to this, we'll have uh, Hedonic Cur uh, Curiosis because it does have more stats, but the problem is that it, it does have a rare drop to use. So. For stats, we have 13, 19 with 9.5, while over here we have 16, 16 with 19 HP for infantry. But you don't want to use up. Uh, you one tip I will always give is that you don't want to separate your your you don't want to focus your gear pieces in one monster. By this I mean is having more than one piece that comes from one monster. So so far, in helmets I've only recommended Saber Fang and Queen Bee. While right here I'm recommending Mecha Trojan. And on the next ones, you'll see that I try my best not to overlap in any of them. That way, you don't uh, you don't have to separate your focus and divide your resources. So next up, we have uh, for leggings. For leggings, I recommend uh, Dragon Talents. Now this comes from the Black Wing, and it gives you two stats of Infantry Tech, Range Attack, and Army HP. So these pre uh, these pretty much are my go-to because they are cheaper than the next best thing, which in this case will be Storm Tassets. Uh, storm test sets come from the uh, title titan and of course it does have better stats but title titan does have one of the most uh, one of the rare drops to get and fighting the, the monster uh, in game is a lot it's a lot harder to do since it usually requires more energy than a regular than the regular monsters but pretty much dragon talents is the one i say saying for leg piece is the way to go and still no overlapping monsters so far uh, for main hand, uh, starting off, Frostwing Greatsword is is one of the best. It's not the best. It's one of the best to go for because it's the cheapest to level up. As you know, I haven't spent much money, and the Frostwing Greatsword is the only one that I have at mythic, uh, mythic grade between all my pieces. Now the other one, there isn't a weapon that is better, which would be the Skull Crusher, but it does use a lot more brains. And it, it does use a lot of, it, it is really rare in comparison. So Frostwing Greatsword is from the Frostwing of course, and then Skull Crusher comes from the current monster that's currently right now, Helldrider. And of course, Helldrider is pretty easy to kill, but getting the getting the amount of brains, it is the hard part. And of course, Skull Crusher does happen to be, to be stronger uh, at certain aspects in comparison, but Mythic Great still comes out even stronger. It's just that, the Skull Crusher does give you army attack, which makes it very strong. So this is something to consider. Of course, how Drider you can work, work on them at the same time doesn't matter. You won't be you won't be hindering yourself in any way, shape, or form. Next up, we have the offhand. 
Now for the offhand, the two that everyone goes to is Winter Mitts and Eternal Codex. I'll be explaining my, that right now. So Winter Mitts is very important due to the fact that you have army and max HP. You're in a very big number at 25%. It's also not th that difficult to make these uh, make these to gold or even nitpick depending on how far you want to go with them. But they're really good because they have the huge amount of army HP. And also give you some other stats which on army defense, I mean it's pretty it's stats for all around, so it's a, I'll take it. Defense of course not really great and then ten army it's arm, army attack. So you add uh, arm, uh the jewels you'll be you'll be pretty even out. The other one that people go for is Eternal Codex. Now this one we go for because it has two other stats we're looking for plus the additional HP. So it has Cav Attack and Ring Attack at a really good number, and then it has and then it has Cav HP. Now the the problem is that Eternal Codex does require the the amount of rare drops, and it's a lot rarer to pick that drop than the um, than the than this one. I forgot who they come from. Uh, they come from Snow Beast. That's right. And so we're still not overlapping any of the pieces. Now, of course, there is a, another piece that I use, that I personally use, which is Call of the Deep. This one does use a Title Titan uh, drops. So you're looking for the Title Titan boots. You don't want to go for this one. But the reason I went for this one uh, to go due to the fact that my stats were lopsided. So I had like 40 to 50% more range stats than any, other, any, any of my other stats. So I had to reduce my range stat in order to increase my infantry and cav attack stat. Plus they also get HP to it. So this is, helped me balance out and, and get closer to that 400% or coming to 400% mix stats. But of course, I still have, I'm still working on that codex and once I get my codex to gold, I will be using this piece again. Uh, next up, we have accessories. Now we all know we have three accessories and since we don't want to overlap, we can separate the three accessories to being one of each. But later in the future, once you max one of those out, you can work on making it double for, for that one to separate the other ones. So the top of the list will be the uh, Brioso Cup, which is the Bon Appetit Cup. Uh, this is the reason I did not recommend the chest piece. This is because the Bon Appetit Cup is very strong. It's stronger than the chest piece itself. And of course, it uses way more halos. So you want to keep those halos uh, focused on the cup itself. So what it does, it gives you two, two troop type attacks as well as their, uh, their HP for the counterparts. And then, so this is already a pretty good cup. I myself only have mine to purple. I only have one, so I'm working on getting mine to gold, but that's a long way to go. Then we have blank rings. Blank rings is a very, is a very common one because it is cheaper to get. It, the toxins are not that hard to, to obtain. It also gives you army HP, which is something you really want when you're defending, and it has additional range attack. This, so the blank ring is the reason I have I'm a very range heavy. Uh, I was very range heavy on my stats. Now for the third piece, you can go a number of different things. So for starters, you can go burning scrolls. This does use a hell drider drops. So if you're going for burning scrolls, you might not be able to work on your um, scroll crusher. So it really depends on what you want to do. And the reason for the burning scrolls is because it gives you flat out army attack and army HP at nine percent. It's not that great in comparison to others, but if you have, if you're working on, on one piece and the other ones, it's better to focus on that one piece while working on this other one, and then having this one on the side while you finish maxing one of them out. Then we have Dragon Iris. This is a black green drop, so you, you're going for the talents. You don't want to be really working on this one because you need all the ice you can for the talents. But pretty much this one gives you two troop stats plus army HP at 10%. It is more army HP than the burning scroll, but it is only by 1%. And then we have the 10% cav attack, range attack, and no infantry stat on this one. So this will be the accessories that you will go for. So that's pretty much all the pieces. Now let's talk about jewels. For a mixed set, you always want to have your jewels being the one troop attack jewels. I one troop attack jewels, I'm talking about this ones. The range attack, infantry attack, and cav attack. Those, you always want to have those three jewels in your pieces at all times and for your mix set. It's going to be those three pieces on every single piece. And now a little tip, I mean, I always, I always give this for you to even, have them, have them all evened out. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, if you have your eight pieces, because you have eight pieces to wear, keep them all at a certain level. So if all your jewels combined, you can get you all eight to be at blue get them out at blue don't have two at purple and the other ones don't have, don't have anything the reason i say this is because 
having this uh, purple so you know as you know to make one purple you need four blue as you see right here so the stat of, of the purple is 12 percent and you get 12 percent attack for having it in one piece having a purple one but you separate but you don't have any other jewels you only have that 12 percent but if you were to separate it you will have four jewels that give you six percent so six four pieces are gonna have six percent and that will give you a total of 24 percent stats now that 24 percent is that is two times the amount of of um you get from the purple jewel but of course that is separating it into four pieces in comparison to having it in one piece so once you have them all that blue you can then upgrade into purple and of course if you ever get a gold drop anywhere it will be still great for you to separate them into other pieces into several pieces comparison an infantry attack jewel and gold has 20 percent stats well technically all of them whether it be cow attack or wind attack at gold is going to be 20 percent stats but you don't have your other pieces are not blue or are not purple either you might want to separate it into having the purple jewel because the purple jewel uh, four of them since it takes four purple jewels to make one gold jewel you will have a total of 48 percent attack stats which is over double double the amount you get from one gold jewel so it really depends on, on how many jewels you have in all your pieces and what kind of grade levels you have but you want to keep them as even as possible when I started making my mix set, I had all my jewels that blue, and then little by little, I worked myself to get them to, to each of them to purple. And now that I have all of mine to purple, I am now working myself to get them, getting them all to gold. So as you can see, there will be purple jewels right here. They are going to be purple, including this one that has no gold jewels, are still all purple. And that really evens out in an instant optimal way of using all your stats. Now later on, to uh, after posting this video, I'll be recording for the. For the variety video for the spirit gear so i'll be talking about uh spear sets well formation as well as the jewels they require for the spear sets so i might make each of those into one video for each spear set or making them on one video depending on how long it takes me on the recording i might do multiple recordings but who knows so that's pretty much it of this video uh if you, if you see this video for the 17th i do have it a 300 subscriber giveaway uh it is the video is pinned in my channel so you can go check it out you want to take be part of it so i also leave it at the end of the video um next to that i'm also going to be releasing the daily uploads for the uh, huge channel stages you have not seen that i released earlier today the video for the stage two um free to play full auto so all my lineups are always going to be free to play that way anyone can do them and then i will always try to do the full auto ones because i know sometimes people don't have uh, either the uh, internet latency for in case you have like lag spikes that really miss that miss you on certain timings and then people don't have time or have alternate accounts that they want to do it on and on as well so you find the full auto lineup is pretty easy to just set up full auto go make yourself some lunch some dinner or first or some meal and then come back go to the next account uh, do this while and continue making a meal or something and then on the comments of those videos, I always I always let other people post their their lineups to see what other other lineups there are out there that that I did not find by the end by the time I made the video. I do make those videos right when the event uh, comes out. That way, you you guys don't have to struggle as long. Of course, um, uh, if you have any more comments, leave down in the video uh, on the video below, and catch you on the next one. Peace.